Hey, it's me, Chris, and today I had a random urge to make a video. Today we're going to be drawing something in Prose Painter. I've got my handy dandy uh, graphics tablet here. And so, what, what are we going to draw? I'm going to start with the sketch tool. Um, let's see. Let's make some solar punk stuff. Solar punk has been trending, I think. And I, and I like the aesthetic. So let's have, um, hmm, do we do an interior? Yeah, let's do an interior. And I'm just gonna like, let me pick uh, a neutral color here and give me a smaller brush. I'm gonna do like the interior shot. So we have like a sunroof right here, angled sunroof. I don't know if that's exactly where I want it. Um, let's see. I'm gonna have like a shelf right here. Yeah, ooh. This image composition, I don't like it already. But we'll, we'll work with it. We can make little adjustments. We can fine tune this. I think I want the shelf to be a little a little higher up, maybe smaller, but take less space in the image. Yeah, we got a shelf there, and then there's like a wall here. And maybe the solar, or maybe the sunroof is up a little higher. Um, yeah. And then we need some plants. We need some plants on the wall, so I'm going to put some greenery right here. This is a, a wall of plants, which is also something that's kind of new to me, maybe trending, like plant walls, a wall of moss, wall of grass, that sort of thing. And then we have like a wood floor down here. Lost my cursor. Where is my cursor? There it is. Okay. There's like a wood floor down here. Yeah wood floors are great. Perfect, okay. Um, I'm just gonna cover up I'm just gonna cover up my mistakes with this brown color. My happy accidents. Yeah, okay, this looks good, this looks good. Let's get like, um, there's a blue sky visible through this ceiling, this open roof, because this is solar punk and everything's bright. And back to the desk, the tape or whatever, the shelf, yeah, shelf. Let's make it like a dark brown. I lost my cursor again. My monitor is down a little bit low. This optimum viewing angle is a little higher. And I can move it up, but the camera goes up with it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll make this work. It's okay. It's okay. Oops. Where did I go? There we go. Okay. Let's make this wider. Oops. All right. So let's start with the AI drawing here. Um, going to do a little more greenery here just to let the AI know that I want green here. This is a, what do they call this, a wall garden? Maybe we have a, like a corner of the room here, up to the right. Corner of the room, it turns a little bit. Maybe this part of the ceiling is solid. We cannot see through right here. 
and let's do a little more blue for the sky. And I think I'm going to put some panels, like pan, uh, not panels, but like the the edges of the window, edges of the glass up here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now let's go to the. Wait, one more thing. One more thing. I want to. I want to fill in the desk here. There's got to be some trinkets on the desk. Filling in the desk. Adding some trinkets. Maybe a computer, because this is solar punk. They're not without technology here. Their technology is just so advanced that it's got a natural feel to it. Maybe there, would, there wouldn't be a, a monitor in a solar punk future. Maybe it would be a, like a VR headset. So you put on the headset and you've got a virtual monitor. Who knows? But in my imagined solar punk future, there are monitors optionally. And let's do like a um, like a container that has tools in it. This is pretty big. I was thinking like a pencil container, like a cup with pencils in it, but maybe this could be a cup with some scissors in it. Yeah, let's do a pair of scissors. It's a blue handle and it's probably not going to be blue, a blue blade, but just filling that in. Let's do some like a white blade. Shiny blade. Okay, and then one more tool like a ruler. A red ruler. It's got to have little marks on it. Okay, so that's our sketch. Um, I see a little corner that's missing some color, so I'm going to add that in. Okay, looking good, looking good. Oh, this corner on the right, I'm gonna fill this in with, I don't know, maybe it's a piece of art. This wall is full of art, so I'm gonna do some various colors. Some orange, and some yellow. Okay, now let's go to the Pros Paint tab now and we're gonna start with the green wall I think I'm gonna just draw on here and tell the AI which area I want the green wall to be at wall garden is that what this is? a wall garden? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to call this I'll just describe it I'll just describe it and see how the AI does Do a smaller brush here and get that little area between the monitor and the tools. And it looks like I got a little too much where the uh, scissors are, so let's go to the erase thingy, erase tool, and just gently expand this zone so as not to capture the tools. And there is some aggressive feathering here. I don't think it's called feathering in this program, it's called the hardness, I guess. Okay, so let's 
type in a wall covered in household plants, indoor plants, there we go, and then hit start. My nose is running, hold on. Very nice. It's a good start. I think I want. You know what? I'm just gonna do um, like one pass at a time, and then I can do more passes over things that I want to look a little different. But for the moment, that looks good. I'll hit clear, and then I'll move on to the next uh, the next section. Let's go to the the ceiling. The Oops, paint. Yeah. Let's go to the sunroof. Paint over that and tell the AI where I want this art to exist. And erase a little bit here that I don't want it to affect. That looks good. And I'll type in uh, a sunroof revealing. Uh, let's see, a sunroof with a clear blue sky in the background. Start. That looks like glass. Almost got like a cell structure to it. It's not bad for a first pass. Okay, let's do the wall with art. Let's go to paint, or first clear and then paint. Draw over this art wall. And interior wall. Covered in art. Sure. Well, that's got some detail there. I like that. Hit clear and we'll move on to the computer monitor. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. Paint where the monitor is at. Get a little bigger brush now that I have the border. Excellent. Um, let's type in a computer monitor displaying spreadsheets. <laughs> I always laugh at what AIs come up with when I type in prompts like computer code looks very alien what they come up with it often looks very alien oh look at that it's got like a a command prompt at the top oh that is beautiful that looks really good right around step 17 I was convinced that it was it was a computer that does not look like a spreadsheet it looks more like stock tickers, but that works. That works. I'm accepting that and I'm going to move on to the next section, which is 
I'm going to do this corner up here, this interior wall ceiling corner. I'm going to type in rafters, interior wall rafters, which grammatically that probably doesn't make sense because walls don't have ras rafters, but we'll see what it comes up with. Ooh, some of the blue leaked over there, but that works. I think we can work with that. Oh, now it looks like corn. Why does it look like corn to me? Hmm, not really pleased with that, but like I said earlier, we're going to do one pass before we do second passes. One pass on the entire piece. So now let's get the desk. Let's make the desk. Oop, I zoomed in somehow. Let's go to the paint tool and undo that. Let's start over. Okay. Let's draw over where the desk is at. Being careful not to overwrite the monitor. Okay, got that selected. Let's give it a prompt. Um, computer desk workstation, wooden computer desk workstation. Simple enough, let's give it a go. <laughs> it's so funny, the, com the computer monitor has like a logo on the monitor. <laughs> That's so funny because the monitor I'm looking at in front of me has a similar logo in that same spot. Oh wow, that is like a super artsy desk. It looks like things would roll off that desk, but let's see. Let's go back a little bit on the steps. Oh, yeah, step five it looks good, but then it just keeps going and it it looks more more natural, like it looks almost bamboo-ish. But it's sloped strangely. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right at five because I think five looks pretty good. Step five. And now let's get the floor. Oh no, let's get the tools first. Let's get the tools, uh, the scissors, the ruler, and the tool holder, the tool bucket. That reminds me when I had this summer job of installing home security systems we were given tool buckets not tool boxes not tool bags tool buckets <laughs> and they were kind of annoying to use so we we just went to the hardware store and bought tool belts tool bucket with scissors and ruler and i'm assuming it's not going to figure out which one is the scissors and which one is the ruler that's a, a kind of a common thing but that's okay we're just gonna give it something to work with and expect happy accidents it's generating what looks like a box cutter that's brilliant and the orange thing does remind me of a ruler, or no, it reminds me of a level. But yeah, that works, that works. All right, now we just got the floor left. Let's get the borders of this floor first. The edges, edging, edging. And now that we got the borders, let's get a bigger brush. Um, let's work on those edges a little more and then we can get an even bigger brush just so we're not here all day.
Oops, I got a little too much. But that's okay. Accidents happen, or happy mistakes. No, happy accidents. There are no mistakes, there are only happy accidents. And we can always fix it with the erase tool. Let's do uh, more hardness. Smaller, smaller size, more hardness. So we can get these edges nice and clean. And then on the floor, we get this edge nice and clean. Clean edge is very important. I learned that from landscaping. Okay, that looks good. We'll give the AI a prompt of wooden floor, well-lit wooden floor. Underneath a sky of blue. Well lit sky underneath a sky of blue. That might be too specific. I'm a little worried that we'll get a little much too a little too much blue, but we'll see, we'll see. Ooh, look at that. There is a lot of blue there. The gray lines became blue. Ooh, this looks This looks like it could work. Almost looks like puddles of water down there, so But I like I like the first pass. This is our piece at its first pass. I'm gonna go ahead and download this image just in case it crashes or something. I've never actually experienced a crash on Pros Painter. But let's see if I jinxed it just by saying that. Okay, well we got a we got a work in progress image. Let's do a second pass now. I think there are really only two two spots that I, I don't like, which is the floor and the upper corner of the wall. Everything else, or I guess the, the grass wall could use some more greenery. But first of all, the most pressing thing, the most obvious thing that I don't like is the blue on the floor. It looks like puddles of water. I don't like that. So I'm just going to draw over the blue and type in wooden floor. Natural wood, wooden floor. I don't know if this is going to solve the problem and get rid of the rid of the blue, but I'm just trying this out. I'm just experimenting here. Looks like looks like the blue is disappearing. Some of it. Um, Seeing as there is a lot less blue, I think I'm gonna accept those that uh, I'm gonna accept that that rendering, and then I'll give it a second pass. This time I'm gonna do like uh, I'm gonna put some knots in the wood, natural wood knots. This wood is becoming knotty. Yes, the blue is gone. Unfortunately, this wood pattern does not match the rest of the floor at all. I'm going to discard that one. And what I'm going to do now, because I think this will have a better result, is I'm just going to redo the floor. I'm going to paint over the whole floor. And 
and redo the render. I don't know what to call the renders. Renders? Proses? I'm going to redo the pros. Let's get a bigger brush. I'm going to redo the pose. The pros. I'm going to redo the pros. Redo the pose. Redo the redo the start. I'm going to redo. Redo, redo, redo. I don't know I don't know what to call it. Render. I'll just call it render. Yeah, render makes sense. I'm going to redo the render. And I notice a little bit right here, I'm cutting into the wall a little bit. I don't want that, so I'm going to erase the selection here. All right. Well lit wooden floor. Floorboards. Well lit wooden floorboards. Ooh, I like the sunbeams, the sun spots on the wooden floor. It looks really good. That looks really good. That looks photorealistic. Minus the <laughs> the absence of straight boards, but it it's it's a feel. It's a feel and I like it. And we still have some blue in there, but I'm rolling with it and I think that looks okay. Especially given how there's blue at the top of the screen, so now there's blue at the bottom of the screen. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, now I want to fix this corner that I, that I didn't like. The corner of the ceiling. Corner of the wall. I'm just going to call it interior wooden wall. and see what we get. It's not a very noticeable part of the piece, just because it's up there and out of the, the main focus, which I think is the desk and the computer area. Okay, that looks a little better. I like, I like that. I'm going to roll with that. I'm going to roll with that. And then... The one, the the final thing that I I think could be a little better is the the wall of greenery. The wall of greenery. I'm I'm gonna cut into the monitor and the tools and then I'll erase those. The green wall. Okay, so let's erase the monitor from the selection. Smaller brush. Ecusalento. Okay, now get the tools. Perfect. Um, interior garden. Interior hanging garden. Start. Ooh. That looks pretty nice. It kind of generated this plain drywall and then put plants on top of it. There's the before, there's the after. I think there's not enough green though. I want like completely green, the wall behind not even visible. So let's try typing um, clover field wall garden. 
Although Cloverfield could be misinterpreted as the movie, which is completely different than a Field of Clovers. Huh, maybe I, maybe it would have been better if I typed in Field of Clovers. I don't know. I want more greenery. Ooh. What is happening here? I don't even... There's before, here's the after. It's like some different plants, but it's still got that pale wall, and I don't want that pale wall. I want greenery. Nothing but greenery. I'm going to... I'm going to accept this one because I think the wall looks flatter on this one and I want a flat wall. So let's try... Let's try simply Field of Clovers and see what we get. <clears throat> I heard that clovers are a good alternative to grass. I think they're easier to maintain and they support bees. Wow. There's more green this time, that's for sure. This almost looks like wallpaper. It doesn't look like plants anymore. But we did get more green, and I think that is the direction I want this to go. So... Hmm... Green wall with green plants. Green wall covered in green plants. There we go. It's very specific. I'm telling it what I want. I almost want to have a conversation with this AI and say, what were you thinking when you did that? And they could explain it. And then I could say, oh, okay, that's good, that's good, I like, I like what you were doing there, but could we change this one thing about your thought process? That would be, <laughs> that would be a funny, uh, not funny, that would be a, uh, that would be a helpful addition. Okay, so that, that looks, that looks like a green wall covered in green plants. I think it's missing something. What what could this piece use? Maybe some variation in the wall. Maybe there's some sections. One one is the garden section. One is like the bird section. Or would the birds eat the plants? Wait a minute. I don't want birds indoors. Birds poop all over the place. Uh, okay, I think right here. Let's switch to the paint tool. Uh, right here, we can have a, a separate panel that is for something else. Maybe it's not a garden at all. Maybe it's just a regular wall. A wall full of clocks. That seems solar punk. Interior wall full of clocks. What's the type of clock I want? Cuckoo clocks. There we go. I don't think that's how cuckoo is spelled. Is it cuckoo clocks? I don't know. Interior wall full of cuckoo clocks. Then that satisfies the bird itch that I had in my head. That satisfies the itch for birds that I had in my head. And it's some variation in the image. Yes, I like that. It doesn't look like cuckoo clocks. It actually looks like collectible plates that I would see in my grandma's house. <laughs> Which is 
which goes yeah. along with the cuckoo clocks. So, uh, it doesn't have the right feel. It doesn't have the right feel. That looks like a relic of the past, but I'm going to accept anyway, just because I'm going to immediately render something else over top of it. Interior wall full of anime collectibles. How about that? It's working, but this doesn't feel solar punk. I'll accept one more time and then let's see, what is in solar punk? I'm quickly searching for on Wikipedia. Represents sustainability, social, sustainable, environment, economic. Aesthetics. Ooh, I, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to that original prompt, which was... Wall garden. Or something like that. And it's uh, a different style of garden than the green wall covered in green plants. That's the idea, anyway. Ooh, we got some flowers in there, some colored flowers. And the anime girls turned into... something. Flowers, some sort of flowers. Let's try that one more time. I'm just going to go right over the top because some of these anime girls still look like anime girls. Looks like hair. Still looks like hair. Turn into flowers, please. better but this one in particular still looks like a head so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna draw over this one specifically and turn it into some lilacs wall of lilacs That is very hair-like. And it's got eyes now. It's got eyes now. It looks like even more of an of a anime character. Prose Painter. I know you like anime, but that's not what we're going for here. Um, I'm going to type in Flower Patch. looking like hair. It's looking like hair. Okay, so I'm going to give it some help because it seems to only be able to think about anime characters right now. I'm going to use the paint tool, the sketch tool, and draw over this face. Just a purple blob. It is now a purple blob. This cannot possibly be interpreted as an anime character. 
So what do you say, prose painter? How about uh, giving me some lilacs? Bundle of lilac flowers. Start! Hopefully it doesn't look out of place because there are no other lilacs here that I know of. Excuse me. That looks like a a blanket. What the heck? I'm gonna accept that just because it no longer looks like a purple blob. And I'm gonna grab a big section right here. A big section of the wall. And I'll type in wall of flowers. Start! Ooh, that, look, that is looking good. I like that. Very nice. Okay, this is coming together. I think there's just a few more sections that I think I want to redo. And one is the green wall. It just it doesn't look like plants. It looks like I don't know, it looks like plant pasta. <laughs> I want I want more realistic looking plants here. There are some sections that it got right. Like right here up in this corner, it looks like there's a little bush thingy. It looks good. Also right on the desk looks good. So not all of this I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to type in... Hanging garden. Since the first time I typed hanging garden, I got pretty good results. Let's see what we get now. Whoa. Looks like it looked like paper for a second, and now it's looking like strands of fungus. Ugh. What is this? That literally looks like fungus. Uh, that's a hanging garden from a different planet. A hanging garden with lettuce. And onion. Go right over the top, render right over the top of that. Let's see some lettuce and onion. Okay, okay, I see a big ball there, which would be an onion. But still this mycelium-like white stuff that doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing. I'm going to roll it back a little bit because I think there was some good moments right there. Step 17, I could see some obvious lettuce and an obvious onion. So I'm going to clear that and then draw over the stuff that I don't like, paint over the stuff I don't like. Right about here. I 
Mycelium is nice, but not in this garden. I'm gonna be specific and I'll say leafy green vegetables. I'm not even gonna mention the wall. I want greenery. Thick, hearty, and luscious greenery. Ooh, that looks like celery down there. Yes, this is looking good. This is looking good. I'm gonna accept that. Clear it so I can see the whole picture. Back up a little bit, take a step back. Uh, yeah, still a little bit, a little bit of this white, creamy, plant-looking thing that looks out of place on this wall. I'm going to type in thick, green, leafy, spinach. It looks tasty. It looks like a wall I could walk up to, take that pair of scissors, and snip off some some lettuce for my nice salad. Oh, what is happening here? There's like some reddish pink stuff going up in here. Oh, I see what kind of looks like a spinach leaf. I'm gonna accept this and. Uh, I'm going to remove some adjectives and just type spinach. Yes, that does look like spinach. It's got that deep green matte color to it. Yes, that's perfect. That's perfect. Except, except, this piece is done. Look at that. There it is, our solar punk future. Uh, there it is, our prose painter image that we created uh, from a sketch in just about 45 minutes, somewhere around there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been Chris. Peace. Chris, Carissa, Carissa, Chris.